And y'all, Portia Williams wants to know that she's a that she's a single mother. And just in case we didn't understand the assignment, she had the nerve to put the definitions up on her Instagram story. Girl, shut up. We all live in America. We know what a single mom is. Y'all, it's only December 21st, and Portia Williams wants us to believe that she is a single mom, right, working at Denny's on her afternoon shift by her deadbeat dad, Dennis McKinley, is out in the street throwing fake roar says, girl, what am I talking about? Portia Williams had the nerve to get on Al Gore's internet and try to say she's a single mother, right? Now, listen, she got dragged for it i'm about to show you the receipts she got dragged but she didn't appreciate that dragon and she had the nerve to put up what give us a definition of what a single mom is because now miss 265 days a year and a frequent traveler on the electric underground railroad has the nerve to be trying to school us on proper English and definition, y'all, you can save that for your fiance, Simon Gabodia. Because, baby, we all live in America and we know what the definition of single mom is and what you was trying to do. The question we should be asking is, does Portia Williams understand what a term of art is? But being as she just discovered that there's 365 days in a year and the Underground Railroad was empowered by electricity, I don't know. Is that too much? You know what? Enough of the chit chat. Let's get into these receipts. Because I know you came here for the mess and you know I like to give it to you messy. However, if it's your first time here, do me a favor and hit the like button. And this is your second or third time. What the hell's wrong with you? Hit the like button. This is you. YouTube, you know how this works, but let's get into this mess. The first claim that Dennis McKinley is a deadbeat dad who don't pay child support and is out there handing out Rolexes like his name was Chris Kringle and Mr. D. Santa Claus. Let me tell y'all something, right? First of all, let's get to what Portia did, right? Okay, so Portia started burning her first bridge of Bravo right after this Sunday's Pursuit of Portia. If you haven't watched my uh, little recap, you need to watch it. It is funny, detail, and it's all that. But let's get into what Portia said. <clears throat> and I quote, so her fellow activist in charge, Tamika Mallory, uh, posted an eye roll emoji. Girl, shouldn't you be out there trying to save a nation? What are you doing commenting on Dennis McKinley and Portia Williams? But anyway, Portia for real said, hey, I seen I just shot with Dennis about a week ago. It was awesome. I don't know if they'll air it or not. Spoiler alert, looks like they will. But I have to put my foot down when it comes to attacking me as single mom. Now, when she wrote that, I said to myself, hmm, I'm no rocket scientist, but I could have sworn Portia's not what you consider a single mom. But you know what? Let's go to what she posted on her Instagram because she wanted us to know in the back that she was a single mom. Let's see her evidence. You a single mother? Now this is the thing, right? This is, Portia's a single mother the same way she was homeless. For you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, check out my book review on the pursuit of Portia. Portia claimed that she was homeless because Cordell put her out the house. She had her own 4000 a month condo that she kept through Cordell's marriage. You know how we know? Because she told us Cordell was paying for that condo. She could have gone there. She had her mama's house, which she took the master suite. And she left Cordell's house and bought her own mansion out in Duluth or Bucker wherever she lives in Georgia, right? So Portia first posted this mess from Wikipedia. A single parent is a person who lives with a child or children and who does not have a spouse or live-in parent partner right um it's through a breakup a single parent family is a family with a children that is headed by a single parent mm -hmm. all right let's look at what else she posted because she was not done she did went on to say a single mom is a noun it's a mother who has a dependent child or dependent children and who is widowed divorced or unmarried that's the definition of a single mother girl now, since Portia want to pull up Wikipedia definitions, let's go to another definition. Are you a single mom if you have a boyfriend? In other places, you're considered a single until you have been residing with your partner for more than two years, regardless of the circumstances. If you receive financial, emotional, or physical parenting support from your partner, then you are no longer a single mom, y'all. But you know what? There's other definitions, too. Let's hit this because we all know this. But you know what? Since Portia wants to play professor, let's pull this up. Question for Professor Williams, isn't under her own definition, Dennis also a single parent? So my question with her, for her would be, why are you coming for a single father? Why are you coming for a single parent? Why can't Dennis put his foot 
down. Y'all, I'm going live tonight because I got some exclusive tea on what Dennis said that really blew Portia and rocked her world and has her going on damage control besides her being a control freak. But let's get more into this. Now, y'all, I know, take a minute and laugh at the fact that Portia, who says she is engaged to a hundred millionaire, who posted on her own Instagram on Mother's Day that she got two black men, two black kings standing up, dedicating to being co-parent. The fact that she got her good little girl sitting on her new daddy, uh, Simon Gabot, her temporary daddy, right? If you ask around, but you ain't heard it from me, Simon Gabotia's lap. The fact that she is now trying to pass herself off as a single parent why well the choice is simple because this show that she just said that she said she was ep and had all this power is dragging her up and down the street by showing her real personality ain't that the worst drag of all when you literally dragged yourself for a show that you told everybody to pay attention to because it was going to let everything be known but y'all listen the single parent mess is laughable i just wanted to prime the audience and <laughs> and get y'all laughing for this mess. But you know what? Let's get to the real meat. Let's talk about why Portia really mad. Let's move on to the Rolex claim, shall we? Let go. Okay, so Amanda Fraser, 89, said, Okay, now everything but the single mom part. <laughs> your baby daddy a millionaire, and so is your fiance. Portia had the nerve to say, I literally had no idea how much he makes. Pretty sure it's not millions. What millionaire doesn't pay child support, only daycare, and buys fake Rolexes? Girl. <laughs> Second of all, Dennis is out handing out fake Rolexes. He is to who? Let me tell you something. Dennis is known to be a mess to the girls he is not taken seriously on the streets of Atlanta. That is no, that is not up for grabs. Dennis McKinley is a handful. And the fact that someone that is a handful, that any of the time we be calling him something that's like return to sender and you making him look likable, that's how unlikable you and your fiance are that you making Dennis look likable. But let's get to this claim about the Rolexes, right? It's common knowledge that he gives Rolexes out to all the dum-dums and the side chicks and the dummies that he, that he don't like. You know what the real gag is? way if you're still watching this video and you like what you see why don't you go on and hit that like button you know how it works is youtube you know the algorithm needs it and if you really really want to show your support why don't you subscribe or subscribe to my members channel there's a plethora of ways that you can support anyway let's get back into this mess you know how Portia knows about those fake Rolexes? because guess what dennis gave her one too it lets you know about her ranking and where they actually were despite what was reported in her little fan fiction novel the pursuit of Portia. Dennis ain't never took Portia seriously. This is literally the underlying contention about why they can't get along. So yeah, baby, he was giving out fake Rolexes to the dum-dums and ain't no better. Because we all know, just like we all know now, just like Dennis knew back then, Portia counts with her eyes, not with her fingers, toes, or brain. Now, let's talk about this claim about him being a deadbeat dad. Because like Portia said... What millionaire, does, what millionaire doesn't pay child support? Basically calling Dennis a deadbeat dad. Again, you saw how she's playing with these definitions? Can somebody give Portia an actual common use dictionary? A deadbeat dad is someone that does not pay child support. However, Dennis doesn't pay child support because him and Portia had an agreement and he was holding up to that agreement. Just last week on ET News, he said that Dennis was the best father she could hope for PJ. And even though she wasn't on her show, which she now claims is entertainment, even before it was a window into her soul. And remember when she told us that everything was going to make sense between her and Simon? She ain't lie for once in her life. Things do make sense. Y'all, Dennis and Portia had an agreement. Dennis was doing his obligation. And by all accounts of everybody, he treats Pilar very well, gives her whatever she wants. And listen, so much so that so much so that Portia ain't never had a problem with it, never took him to child support, and never breathed a word of how he does not contribute to the child. Find it odd now that you're trying to put on that cloak of invisibility and trying to convince us that you are a single mom doing it alone, worthy of our sympathy or even our empathy. And the fact that this man by all accounts that is an involved and active father and you know I hate defending a man if I don't have to that is an involved and active father playing his part both emotionally and financially 
You're trying to talk about he's doing this and he's doing that and he's handing out fake roses. You know what Portia's really mad about? Portia's really mad about the fact that Dennis is done playing uh, uh, done playing kitty games with her. Dennis is not for play play. Shout out to Trey Mo and Keisha. If y'all haven't watched them on YouTube, you need to. They're funny. Right? Dennis let her know, I'm done playing with you. I'm done protecting your image. I'm done, done, done trying to work together to get a bag. Because ain't no bag when you involved. You only bring toxicity and dark times. Okay, maybe I'm elaborating there. But it sounded like, right? It sounded like it was an episode from Lord of the Rings. Okay, so listen. Jokes aside, Dennis has took the gloves off and Portia don't know what to do. And she's going back to her old playbook when she runs to the public for sympathy and puts on, and this is what I find offensive, puts on these cloaks of homelessness, of single mom, of all these things, of abused woman. When honestly, there's a million out people that have are actually experiencing that or have experienced that. And it's very, very disrespectful. But let's actually bring her back. And make it a little lighter. You know why Portia's mad? Portia's mad because her breakout show that she was hoping to get her own tardy for the party where she tells her narrative and on her terms, it all got hijacked by her more charismatic ex who is funnier and tells it like it is. And actually her, even her sister Lauren, I really thought that Lauren would just be like fade into the background, but Lauren is super funny, super insightful. I like that fire. Portia's mad that her own show was hijacked for years. People said that a Portia was the heart and soul of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we all said, if anything, is an ensemble cast and she is a character actor. Um, she is the best friend. She is the flunky. She is maybe uh, the, the yin to Kenya's yang. She finally has a chance to show that she's the breakout star and she ain't deliver. She's even eclipsed by a man that a man and all his S-L-U-T-S's, the, uh, the quote, Corsha Williams, 2021. All right, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Be on the lookout for my live. I think I got information on what made Portia lose her mind, and I'm going to share that with you. Ooh, I might even share that on my members only live first and then bring it to y'all. You know what? Let me take time to decide. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to y'all later.